Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. And welcome to this uh, new video on uh, not on Pyth, but on Bitcoin. <laughs> all right. Um, daily update uh, yesterday or no, yesterday I, I did not do an update. I was traveling me all day. Uh, so today we're back again. And um, so far, I still remember my last update. And there I said, I mean, that th th that was the update after Bitcoin was falling down uh, rapidly, uh, as we've all experienced. And what I said is that I thought 43,000 and then uh, down to 42,000 as a support would hold, which so far has been true. All right. But um, but the, the jury definitely is still out on this one. Um, and just in general, I mean, right now, I think the price is, is pretty neutral. All right. And uh, and, and what, what we see right now in the markets is that the volume for, for Bitcoin has dropped down drastically as well. It's, it's now down from around $43 billion in, in a matter of a day down to $16 billion, all right? So uh, volume has dropped down drastically and uh, and it's it's Sunday. I believe it's a long weekend in the US, so I, I don't necessarily expect a lot of movement today. It's a possibility and I'll, I'll tell you what movement I'm, I'm looking for, but I'm not necessarily expecting it today. I think it's more likely tomorrow or even Tuesday. Uh, if we if, if we talk about next week in terms of um, in, in terms of big economic events, which is getting a little bit more interesting, there's nothing we need to talk about right now. Uh, but the thing is, is now obviously we we have the ETF, and we are probably going to start talking about the Ethereum ETF uh, somewhere soon, and we'll start talking about the Bitcoin halving at some point of time. But at this moment, I mean the interest rates, especially with the inflation rate, I believe last week that was higher than expected. Uh, the the economic events, I do think. Are going to matter a little bit uh, again as well. Um, but if we talk about Bitcoin right now, like I said, I mean the the, the volume is down. Just in general, I, I don't see a ton of momentum. I mean the the open interest was pretty high on Friday, and was very high on, on Thursday. But since then, it has dropped down to 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 the levels we were at on on Tuesday. All right, so that was uh, right here, um, which the price was then high, but there there. Wasn't a ton of momentum, I, I would say. There was a lot of momentum on, on uh, Monday evening, not not that much on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, this would indicate to me that uh, yeah, I, I think it's most likely we'll, we'll see some more uh, sideways movement from Bitcoin, which is not too bad, all right. I mean, the the Bitcoin dominance right now has fallen down ridiculously hard. Um, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for altcoins, or at least it can be pretty good for altcoins. So if we talk about Bitcoin specifically, what I would say is that right now the the, the problem is, and, and what makes the, the technical is quite ambiguous, is that we have a strong resistance level at 43,250. And then we have a strong support level right here at around 42,000. And we just need to wait for some sort of some sort of breakout for us to, to know what's most likely to happen next. I mean, if Bitcoin is able to break back above the 200 EMA at 43,250. We'll get some bullish momentum and we'll probably uh, cons uh, consolidate up here. Maybe we, we even get a move up. That's a possibility, but that depends on how we react to 44,600. Uh, so that's a possibility. I would call that the bullish scenario. So that's when we break above 43,250. And then there's a more bearish uh, scenario. Uh, in which we now drop down below, let's say, 42,000, which would cause a move down to 40,000 and a consolidation a little bit lower because I don't uh, necessarily expect a huge uptrend or a huge downtrend. I, I expect some momentum, but in general, I expect sideways movement. All right. Uh, so those are my thoughts. All right. I think that's what you need to know for now. Now, if you do have any questions, then of course, let me know down in the comments while I'm looking up uh, my Patreon because I also have my own premium and signal group. Uh, if you're interested in that, it's uh, it's. I think it's very valuable. It's profitable, which is most important. Uh, so check that out if you want to. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care, and bye.